tell everyone what we're doing today? We're going to Disney. Yeah. Good day, guys. Welcome to today's vlog. We're going to Disney Sea today. I'm super excited, as you can tell. I have my Mickey shirt on. Brad doesn't have one because I didn't buy one for him. Everyone thinks he's a tour guide and they've been asking a bunch of questions. Yeah, we've helped like two families so far one from Hong Kong, or one from China, and one from Australia. But oh, yeah. Peru. No, no, Australia and Peru. Oh. But I'm super excited. I've been in, I haven't been to Disney World since like 2004. It's gonna be a fun day. It's gonna be an expensive day. <laughs> Probably our most expensive day. Yeah. But right now, we're waiting for the train to take us into Disney Sea. There's actually two parks here in um, Tokyo. It's Disneyland and Disney Sea. We decided to do Disney Sea because it's the only one in the world. Yeah, we don't have one here. Yeah. So. We can always go to Disneyland in the States. But. And they're done that. Yeah. <laughs> What? We're waiting on the train. Super pumped. Looking all Disney S. Planning to buy a lot of merch today. Like yeah, yesterday. Yeah. So I'm super excited. Here comes the train. We just entered the park, guys. Right behind me. I'm super pumped. I got goosebumps. I got goosebumps. I feel like a kid. I'm so excited right now. Um, I think the first thing we need to do, based on all the videos we watch, we have to go get fast passes. And I know in the states they give you a bracelet with your fast passes preloaded here. You have to go to like a kiosk or something. But um, yeah. So the first ride I think we're gonna get is called 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. That's one of the most popular rides. So let's go and then we'll check out some stuff along the way. So first you gotta figure out how to get there first. But let's go. Look at the cannons. We just saw those Pirates of the Caribbean's water show thing. People came in in the middle of it. Yeah, they, you get really wet. The park only opened about like 45 minutes ago and it's already super crowded, but the energy here is super high. I'm super pumped. And all these people have these happy as a rainbow Disney shirt, which I really, really want one for myself. So um, I saw one in the store. Hopefully it's not too expensive, but Disney is probably going to be expensive. We also don't know where the rides are, so we came back to get a map. Because uh, we it's need in, like six different languages. Yeah, we need to get a fast pass for uh, some of the rides. We only have three a day. We're like, okay, let's go get the fast passes for the rides. And Brad's like, you know where they're at? It's like, no, I don't. So we wandered around looking for a map. Finally found one. Uh, we're by a gift shop, so I might go there first and then go get the fast passes. Or maybe get the fast passes first because that's probably more important. Who knows? We'll just wing it and see where we go. But yeah, I can't believe we're at Disney. I'm so very excited. Uh, it's been so long since I've been to Disney World or any Disney, and this is my first time in Disney Sea or uh, Disney outside of the U.S. So journey to the center of the earth. We're riding it. Okay, but we're gonna get our fast passes. Match off this gift shop first. We'll see whatever happens in the next clip, guys. Okay guys, so we were 
not fast enough for the fast passes. So me and Brad have waited in line for about almost two hours for a 20,000 leagues underneath the sea, which was to close right before all of us. Now we're at Journey to the Center of the Earth, but there's system troubles right now. Um, it should reopen, we don't know when, and we're debating we want to wait in line. So we don't have to wait as long as a, of a wait for the last ride we did, which is cool. But it was a long wait for like a five. Well, it was an animatronic kind of ride. Yeah, well, it was like five minutes we were there. But yeah, we were literally in the park 30 minutes after they opened, and by the time we got to the Bass Pass ticketing booth, they were sold out for the day. That was about like 10 o'clock, because we got distracted with uh, the pirate show at the beginning. So if you ever come to Tokyo Disneyland, or uh, Disney Sea, make sure you go get your Fast Passes right away, because they sell out fast, guys. And now we're just gonna wait, I guess, for the journey center to the air, if they're open. We don't know when they're opening yet. Okay guys, so we just actually got fast passes for Journey to the Center of the Earth. Even though it's closed. Yeah, so we have like nine hours until the fast pass starts. So we're gonna go explore a little more. Hopefully we can find some other fast passes. Um, it's 8.10 to 9.10 is yeah. our fast pass good for. So that's convenient, we're gonna be here all day. I'm glad we got a fast pass for that, because that wait for uh, Journey to the um, 20,000 units on sea was so long. Not worth it. Not, yeah. If you get a fast pass, that'd if be If it's more like a 30 minute wait if you're here, sure. Yeah. But yeah, there's, an hour and a half. it's a Thursday and there's a lot of tourists that come here in Asia. Because there's only like two, three major Disney worlds here and everybody comes from Australia and other parts of Asia to come here. What so, I'm hoping for is that this opens up in the next couple minutes, we can jump in this line and then come back during our fast pass. Uh, I don't know if we can do that, but can, yeah. We ride a normal line. Okay, yeah. But let's keep going, I guess. And then let's see what else there is to do. I'm going to go to a gift shop. Later. Later. There's plenty of gift shops here. So welcome back. Um, since 20,000 leaked on seas, we got fast passes for Journey of the Center to the Earth. We told you guys that. We went to get fast passes for um, the Indiana Jones ride and Raging Spirits. However, they told us to come back at 125, so we end up just waiting in line for Indiana Jones. Just 30 seconds. Yeah, just got off of that. Now we're wait waiting in line for um, Raging Water, or Raging Spirits. Raging Spirits is where we're about to get fast passes for yeah. in 30 seconds. Yeah. Which I'm kind of nervous about because I don't ride roller coasters. I do. But he is, so I'm gonna ride for him. Just super nervous. Also, I got glasses too. Because you guys haven't noticed. You paid $20. Well, yeah, but it's Disney. We come here knowing it's gonna be overpriced. So we're gonna wait about 30 seconds, or Brad's gonna get it for me. Our fast passes, and then we're gonna get something to eat after we get the fast pass because we're starving. We had breakfast earlier today, but didn't really fill us up but yeah so far Disney's been fun a lot of waiting be prepared for that but I think Disney in America has a lot of waiting too it's also super hot I didn't wear a tank top I wore this because I had this whole outfit planned for Disney but yeah so we have our two remaining rides left for our fast passes How does this work when do we get the uh, journey to the center of the world or whatever those fast passes yeah that's for like eight o'clock this is for 5.45. That's because it was shut down to do the system failure. Uh, so I guess they put it real late in case it didn't come back up yeah. until late. So our next ride's at 5.45. Um, we're gonna get something to eat now because we're hungry. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, so for lunch, we went to um, I think it's pronounced kabash. It's a, like a Latin theme, right? Obviously, we got curry and rice. I got beef. Brad's got chicken curry, and he's got two cups because he was super thirsty. And this is the large. Yeah, these are the largest in Japan. In America, they're like medium, maybe even small. It just depends on what state you're in. But Brad got the mild curry and rice, or mine's the medium. If you can get it in his mouth, see how it tastes. I'm working on it. 
Not bad. Not bad. No. I think all together we paid about uh, 3,000 yen for all this. So, yeah. So that's about 30 US dollars. Um, it's, just, it's like 27. 27 US. So, um, but I got two coats, large coats. I got one large coat. And then I got my spicy bread. We're gonna finish this, walk around a little bit more since we don't need to be at our main, two major attractions until like five and eight. So, I really wanna go check out a gift shop because all I bought so far are these glasses. And uh, I'm here to spend money. I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, Brad's really money conscious on this trip here. Ride coasters. Yeah, but still nervous about riding roller coasters because I don't ride roller coasters. Not. Bring it on. Yeah, but all right. So we're gonna finish our food, walk around, check out some gift shops next. So let's finish up. So we're finally in the gift shop. This is a whole little Baymax section. Which I haven't even seen the movie all the way through now that I think about it. You wanna get it, babe? I don't know what it is. I think it's a water bottle. No, it's got like Oh it's like it's a, a brush. It's um a cup cleaner. Uh, yeah. See they have everything here. Let's see what else I got. Tigers. Can't think of his name right now. It's Jasmine's Tiger. What's his name? It's a $34 tiger. $34 tiger. That's not his name. And then they have um guess we're not focused there. Fifteen hundred dollars U.S. statue encrusted in diamonds of genie. That diamond. Four crystals. That's a little pricey. More stuff. You can get a little whip too. Disney characters on there. Keychains. Pens. I see if people like these. And then um, there's snack cakes over here. Yeah. In Japan, when you go on vacation, you turn to buy gifts. So they make these little boxes that you can uh, bring back for your friends, or family. And then like pirate mini. Yeah. And then there's a whole genie section. Because right now, guys, we're in Agrabah, so a lot of this is all like Disney, uh, Aladdin just theme items right now. Just checked out the gift shop. Didn't buy anything, obviously. You guys see that. So, we're gonna head to the American Frontier. Yeah, it's the other side of the park. We have yeah. to do it in three hours, so we gotta get us. So, well, we have plenty of time. The park can't be that yeah. big. <laughs> it's Disney. Yeah. But yeah, so we're gonna get there, but we still need to go to um, Port of New Discovery, too. Also, now that I think about it, I'm just being vain. I haven't taken any selfies at all in any of these little photo location spots, so we're gonna have to do some of that. That's one anymore for Instagram game. But yeah, so we're gonna be leaving Agrava. We're gonna go back through the um, mysterious River Delta, Mystery River Delta, where we did the Indiana Jones drive and walk past there again. And then we're gonna go to Port New Discovery and to the American Frontier. Yeah, treat it to you.
All right, welcome back, guys. So we just got off of uh, Raging Spirits, yes. the roller coaster ride that I was nervous about. But before that, we were at the gift shop. Didn't actually buy anything because there was nothing appealed to me. But then he convinced me to get on Tower of Care. Which also it was a 30 minute wait. Made me nervous. Um, yeah, if you look at the photos, which we didn't even buy a photo, on the photo, my eyes were closed the entire time. He was turned ahead away yeah. and everything. I, I did not like it. I hate roller coasters, I hate heights in general. Uh, most heights I'll do is flying in a plane. But yeah. Um, I'm also terrified of heights, but mainly when I'm not secured. Yeah. If I have something securing me, I, I'm fine with them. Yeah, but overall, it wasn't so bad. It was only like two minutes. Maybe. Yeah, fast pass on, on yeah. Raging Spirits. Yeah, really fast pass on Raging Spirits. The entire time I was just nervous. I was like, I want to back out. Just want to get me out of here. They <laughs> they measured me because the limit's 6'5 and I'm 6'4. Yeah. So we we about to scan our fast pass. He's like, can I measure? Yeah. And I was like, yes. And then, but uh, inch under. Honestly, and I was... And they tagged me. They put a tag around my neck. Yeah. It's quite funny. And then the girls in line asked me and I answered in meters. Yeah. I was honestly hoping he was too tall so we wouldn't have to ride the ride, but Protected. he was one inch too, one inch short enough that he could actually ride it. But it was over like very quick. Very quick. I kept my eyes closed the majority of the time. I opened it up towards the end. It was a nice small coaster. It wasn't yeah. a big coaster, but it, for its size, it was really nice. But yeah, but still, we still have Journey to the Center of the Earth left. If it's open. If it's open, because system, there was system controls or something earlier we mentioned, and we still need to go gift shopping. We still have to buy those. Um, uh, uh, rainbow, happy rain, has a rainbow shirt. Happy has a rainbow shirt and something to bring home from here. We got soft serve ice cream. Um, I got apple juice. And then I want to get one of the popcorn buckets, but I don't want to eat the popcorn. Uh, uh, Brian right can't really have popcorn that much because he has Crohn's. Mm. But I want the Nemo or the Dumbo or the um, Willy thing. I'm, we're saying all this now, but we had to take this all back to the States on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So we know we had to buy a, tra a suitcase. So, we still got another couple days here. So. Yeah, we still got like two full days here before we head back. And then we're planning on doing some shopping tomorrow because I still got to go to Uniqlo for my brother. But other than that, the rides are okay. They're fun-ish. Well, that big <laughs> volcano over there is what we're going on next. Yeah. If um, it's open. If it's open. I hope it's not open. I don't even know what it Maybe is. Maybe we'll be the first people to ride it. So oh, yeah. It. Oh, yeah. That's not, that's not reassuring to me. <laughs> but we're going to eat our ice cream, drink our juice, and relax for a minute. Relax for a minute. Catch our breath. I've, we've been nervous. I've been nervous the entire time. We're fine. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so we're back from Disney Sea. Um, I did not do 20. Um, during the center of the earth, I went to see the fireworks show instead. You which pussied out. Which we'll put at the end of this vlog. Brad did, however, so. It wasn't even as bad. It was just an animatronic ride with one drop. It wasn't even as bad as the coaster that he actually did. Mm -hmm. He could have done it. He chickened out. I didn't chicken out. Okay, I chickened out. I just didn't want to do it. I was over it, but I get to see the really cool um, firework light show at the at Disney Sea. So at the end of this vlog, I'm going to put like a clip of that up for you guys. But before we end the vlog, I'm going to show you guys what we bought today—a little mini haul from the gift shops. Uh, okay, so I got myself. You guys obviously know about sunglasses with the rainbow on there, and then I got myself this Mickey rainbow shirt. Happy as a rainbow. Everybody had these. I didn't know the. Um, I got one too. Yeah, Brad, uh, Brad also got one. Also Mickey. Today I saw everybody wearing this, and so I thought all these people went to the park before, and then I found out you can just buy the shirt today, and they'll take off the tags and everything for you to wear. So that's pretty cool. That's with pretty much any apparel. They'll like take the yeah, tags off. Yeah, any for apparel. You. I don't think they do that in the U.S. ones. I bought these Donald Duck and Chippendale soft candies for his friends at work, and then. That's Brad's shirt. He also bought this pirate magnet. And then these two shirts, or this specific style designs, I saw on a bunch of YouTube videos before coming here. So I was really hoping to find them. I'm glad I did. I got them in medium because small seems too small. 
But I got the Ariel one, and then I got Jasmine and Aladdin. Uh, there was like a Beauty and the Beast one, but I couldn't find that. And then um, there's a Toy Story one, but it didn't have like the same like animation. It was more like 3D, but I guess Toy Story is a 3D movie. So that's everything we got today. Um, today, our feet are killing us from all this walking. Yes. They're very, very sore. Hold on, I'm gonna try to get the steps. Okay. So talk about today while I try to get the steps for the day. <laughs> okay, babe. Um, we rode some rides. I got over my fear of heights a little. Riding the Tower of Terror. A little. A little. Um, I won't probably won't do that again for a little <laughs> while. <laughs> Um, 20,000 steps today. Apparently I got 20,000 steps today. And then, um, we did a lot of gift shops, but a lot of stuff didn't stick out. Oh, and I didn't get a Duffy Bear. That's the one thing I really, really wanted, but all the, like, they only had, like, the big Duffy Bear, and I didn't want the big one because I had to bring this back to the States. I wanted a small one, but the only small one they had was, like, a puppet thing. And then, I didn't get any more snacks like I planned on doing. But, we can go to the Disney store in Shibuya and check that out and maybe buy some stuff there. And then I was looking for um, something for one of my clients back home. It was like this beaded thing, couldn't find that either. So we're going to probably check out the Disney store because tomorrow we're going to Harajuku is the plan unless the weather doesn't cooperate. We're going to go to Harajuku, maybe the um, digital team lab thing, the art museum, the interactive art museum. And then, yeah, and then there's still one more Pokemon Center I really want to go to. It's in Skytree and Asakusa, so we plan on going to Asakusa. We have two days, two full days left here, and then we head back on Sunday. So, but that's it for today, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye, babe. Bye. <laughs>